Satan could convince Christians that it's okay to celebrate the birth of our own children every single year, but it's wrong and evil to celebrate the birth of our Savior, even though all of heaven set the precedent for a celebration when Jesus came to earth. The more Christians reject Jesus is the reason for the season, the more Satan gets exactly what he wants, which is a removal of Jesus from the culture altogether. Do not be deceived by the tactics of the enemy. To learn more, subscribe or follow now. This is ridiculous. She's implying by the idolatrous Christmas tree behind her, as you can see, that Christ was born in December. That's a lie. There is no historical evidence, no scripture proof, and no logical reason to believe he was born in December. Logically speaking, by probability, there's no shepherds out there in the winter. And yes, Israel and Jerusalem, especially Bethlehem, get very cold in the winter time. No, it's not wrong to celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ, but it's also wrong at the same time to celebrate it on the wrong month that's supposed to be dedicated to his birth. The phrase, Jesus is the reason for the season, implies he was born in December. Christmas is all about Jesus and that Christmas honors God. All of these are lies. I've already exposed Christmas so easily on my playlist. Make sure you check it out and see it for yourself. But I'm going to give you a very brief description why Christmas is not God honoring, is not when Jesus was born, and is not displayed as Jesus is the reason for the season being correct. First. Christmas is not God honoring because it violates his word, especially his law. See my video on why Christmas is pagan in my playlist. Christmas breaks all of the Ten Commandments. Why should Jesus be associated with a pagan holiday that violates his law? Hint, hint. Number two, there is no evidence that Jesus was born in December. Now, there's a lot of debate out there about whether or not he was born in the fall or in the spring. But logically, he was born in the spring. Think about it. Spring, March, was when Passover was observed and kept, biblically. What better way to bring the Savior into the world than the month when the new year starts according to Scripture? He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and Omega. There is no other logical option. He was born in the spring. Concluded. Number three, Jesus is not the reason for the season. People make this lame excuse because they're trying to fit Jesus in every way in America to bring him back to the culture. I understand what she is saying in the video. However, she is very still wrong. I'm talking about Tracy Costin and everybody else who thinks like she does. A little zeal, not correctly directed and developed, will lead to more damage than good. She has a lot of zeal to serve God. I believe that but she is very much compromised and wrongly influenced. Jesus Christ and his law is all that matters. Everything else is secondary. Let me ask you this. Why is Jesus the reason for the season? Hmm? Answer that. Well, let's look at the evidence. He was not born in December. Christmas violates his law, and you have a false god that people worship, Santa Claus. Now, before you get mad and say, we don't worship Santa Claus, what are you talking about, Anthony? We don't bow down to him in worship. Let me ask you this. What are the three main ways we worship God? One, you either write songs or you sing songs about him. You know, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, Ephesians 5.19, Colossians 3.16. Sound familiar? Hmm? Number two. The description and belief of God as sinless, holy, righteous, and omnipresent. That's a form of worship in mental and heart belief. Is it not? 3. You obey him by his commandments. How does Santa Claus fit this description? 1. People sing songs about Santa Claus. This list here. That's not an accident. Number 2. Blasphemy of Santa's description. Very similar attributes to Jesus Christ. I already pointed this out uh, in my playlist on a separate video, exposing Alasa Childers' statement, basically, that Christmas is not pagan. She is dead wrong. Christmas violates all the Ten Commandments, and I gave you a, a specific description of how Santa Claus is blasphemy against Jesus Christ. But to put it in summary, what's one of the lines in the, the song, Santa Claus is Coming to Town? He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Yeah, 
very blasphemous. This is implying he's all-knowing, everywhere at once, all-powerful, and is your judge. Hmm. Which leads to the last one. You worship Santa by obeying his commands, which is simply, if you're good, he will bring you gifts, and if you don't obey and are naughty, then you get coal or a negative gift. Why are parents influencing their children to worship somebody and be scared of somebody that robs God's attributes? And no, you cannot make Jesus the reason for the season just because you feel like it. You cannot Christianize something just because you want to. An illustration I point out many times, especially in the past. It's just like you trying to Christianize the Nazi swastika and call it a Christian symbol because you want to pretty it up with different colors. Does that make it okay? No. Jesus is not the reason for this season. Tracy Coston has sincere zeal and a desire to serve God. I believe that. But she has been compromised by the culture and rejecting his law. Her zeal will lead many people astray. Christmas is pagan, Christmas is evil, and Tracy Coston is wrong.